Hello, good morning everybody. Today we are going to learn some aspects from Natya Shastra relating to Abhinaya. The Abhinaya is classified into four types such as Angika which is done through gesture of limbs, Vachika which is verbal, verbal display, Aharya that is representation through makeup and Sattvika that is conceptual and temperamental. The Angika Abhinaya is the combination of Anga and Upangas in Natya Shastra. The six Anga is combination with the Anga and Pratyanga is taken into consideration where Upanga are considered separately. Tasya Shiro Hastaro Parshva Kati Padataha Shadangani Netrabhu Nasadhara Kapola Chibukanyu Pangani. This means Anga are mainly considered as the head, hands, hips, chest, sides, and feet. The Upangas are eyes, eyebrows, nose, lips, cheeks and the chin. Anga The first one is Shira that is head movements. There are 13 types of Shirobhid. The first one is Akampita used in instructing, asking, natural conversation, giving directions, etc. The second one is Kampita. This is used in displaying anger, arguments, threatening, sickness, etc. The third one is Dutta. It this expresses unwillingness, sorrow, fright, fever, terrified situations. The fourth one is Viduta, being affected by chillness, excessive fright, etc. The fifth one is Parivahita, accomplishing, wondering, enjoying, etc. The sixth one is Udvahita, Showing pride, revealing desire, self-confidence. The seventh is Avadhuta. Sending messages, invocation of the deities, etc. The eighth one is Anchita. Loss of sense expressions in Eribeti, etc. The ninth one is Nihanchita used to regard the woman character exhibiting pride, fiend anger in love, silent expression of affection. The tenth one is Paravritta that is turning away the face etc. Utkshipta to contact with the tall person. The twelfth one Adhogata blushfulness or sadness. The thirteenth is Parilogita, fainting ailments. Hasta, that is hands. The hastas are divided into three categories. First one is Asanyuta. These are done by using hands in not combined states. They are twenty-four Asanyuta hastas. Second one is Sanyuta. The hands are combined to do the hand gestures. There are 13 Sanyuta Hasta Vedas. The third one is Dritta Hasta. These are done in combination of a Sanyuta and Sanyuta Hasta Vedas. These are used in Dritta purpose. There are 13 Dritta Hastas. The next one is Kati that is hip movement. There are five types of Kati. The first one is Chinna. Depicting exercises, looking back, turning round. 
Nivritta that is applied while taking the turn. Richita that is wandering. Kampita depicting movements of hunchbacks. Udvahita depicting movements of stout and bulky person. The next bhed is Urabhed, Urubhed. These are of five types. Abhudnya, feeling, embarrassment, despair and fainting. Nirbhudnya, applicable in paradise, excess, expressing resentment, excessive arrogance. The third one is Prakampita, that is laughter, weeping, exhaustion and terror. Udvahita is deep breathing, looking at the objects placed high above yawning. Summer, that is symmetrical state of limbs. The next Vedas are of Parshva, that is sides. The characteristics of sides are of five types. Nata, approaching to someone. Unnata, in going away. Prasarita, applied in delight. Vivartita, in turning about some point. Apasara, returning. The next is Pada or feet movements. That is Udghatita, it is used in Karnas. Sama, natural position. Agratala Sanchara, breaking, hitting with something. Anchita, application is done in the purpose of foot being stuck by something. Kunchita, for turning around. The next one is Upanga, that is the movement of eyes, eyebrows, nose, lips, cheeks and chin are considered in Upangas. Eyes or Netra. There are nine types of pupil movements. Brahmana, that is circular movement used in Veera and Raudrarasa. Valana, that is turning, used in triangular movements used in Bhayanakarasa. Pataha, letting in down the relaxation used in Karunarasa. Chalanam, trembling movements used in Veera and Raudrarasa. Sampraveshanam, that is withdrawal. Hasya and Vibhatsarasa's presentation requires these movements. Nivartanam, that is turning sideways, Shrungararasa. Samudvritta, that is raising up, Veera and Raudrarasa. Nishkrama, that is projecting forward, report the movement, movements. And the last one is Prakrutam, that is natural position, steady state. The next one is eyebrows, which are of seven types. Utkshepa, lifting up, depicting anger, sportiveness, natural playfulness. The next one is Patna, letting down, disgust, hammer, humor and smelling. Next is Brukuti, anger, to show anger. The next one is Chatura. That is Shrungara, graceful, sport and gentle touch. Kunchita, displaying affection. Sahaza, steady and natural position. The next Bheda is of Nasika or nose. There are six types of nose movements. Nata, mild by, accompanied by sigh. Manda, that is sorrow, despair, eagerness and anxiety, it is applicable. The next is Vikasita, strong smell, anger, fear and distress. Svochasa, mild small, smell. Vigurnita, that is humor, disgust, response. Svabhavika is natural breathing. The next Bheda is of lips. They are of six types. Vivartana, portraying jealousy, physical pain and laughter. Kampana, trembling, cold, fever, anger, victory. Visarga, 
anger against gavar vinigu guhana that is exertion samudgak all types of anger and sandastaka anger fear anxiety etc kapola or chicks they are also of six types kshama miserable circumstances applications the full excessive joy purna energetic enthusiasm or arrogant attitude kampita portraying anger kurbita depicting cold fever fear and summer that is natural position the next is chin movement they are of seven types kuttana fright chinnes old age fever khandana activity dragging muttering of prayers taking food conversation chinna sickness fear looking angrily the next one is kunchita that is yawning lehana that is licking of lips by tongue sama natural state and dashta furious and anger activities next comes the rasadrushtis rasadrushtis are glances of expressing sentiments they are classified as kanta bhayanak hasya karuna adbhuta raudra veera and vibhatsa the silent feature of the performance of dancer performance of dancer are based on ragas bhavas and rasas which are explained below kanta this is mainly used in shringara sentiment this originates from the excessive joy and delight when the person is extremely in love this look contraction of eyebrows shy feeling etc for example nayaka is going to the garden naika is going to the garden with the nayaka she is getting all dressed up proper the second one is bhayanaka it involves excessive fright during this glance the eyelids are fixed and drawn up with eyeballs turning up and down it is presented on stage in trembling of hands and feet paralysis agitation of limbs for example seeing a battle or entering into a dark forest this can be done by various movements of limbs face and eyes looking nervously dryness of mouth throbbing of the heart etc the third one is hasya that is humor this is the glance of laughter smile hasya can be self based or based on others hasya can be gentle smile slight laughter open laughter laughter with ridicule for example the actor makes other people laugh through distortions of facial features sentiments etc karuna pathos in sorrow sentiment karuna is used in the glance the upper eyelid is descended due to the unstable state of mind eyeballs are also eyeballs are slowly rested the gaze is fixed at the tip of the nose and eyes are tearful for example curse distress separation from near one the fifth one is adbhuta it is done in the astonished sentiment the eyes are widely opened with the eyeballs this is used for amazed wondered sentiments seeing heaven heavenly beings attainment of cherished desire and so on the next one is raudra this is the glance used to express the sentiment of anger fury etc the eyeballs are lifted up reddish and very rough look the activities connected to this 
beating tearing harassing chopping off seizing of weapons this glance is done by the red eye perspiring profusely dropping the hands hitting the palms etc the next one is veera this is heroic glance with the bright eyes the eyeballs are kept slightly upwards it is used for portraying heroism bravery readiness of to sacrifice readiness to sacrifice firmness the last one is bibhatsa this is the glance of disgust it is done by squeezing up all the limbs moving the face to and fro rolling the eyes spitting expressing disgust it is portrayed through many things causing disgust such as seeing what is not desirable defects and abnormal things like smell and sound as the rasas are origin of these rasadrushtis so the are uh, they are called as rasadrushtis tandava tandava is the divine dance performed by the lord shiva it is described as a vigorous dance that is the source of the cycle of creation there are many types of tandava who depicts various meanings themes tandava is originated from tandu who was the attendant of lord shiva he instruct brahma to use angaharas and karnas in the creation of tandava Rechaka Angaharascha Pindibandhas Tathaiva Chatushtva Bhagavanta Daptas Tandave Manuyetada Tenapihi Tatas Samyag Gana Bhanda Saman Vitaha Nritya Prayogaha Sushto Yassa Tandava Iti Smrutaha The Lord Shiva combined Rechaka's Angaharas and Pindibandhas and further hand over it to the tandu tandu combines vocals and percussions for the act of nritya and named it as tandava the story of origin of tandava is narrated by the bharata in natya shastra the lotus bow lord brahma gave the natya vedas to the brahmas and told him perform a play on the churning of the ocean for the sake of nectar the brahma set the play with the help of gandharvas and apsara this dramatic performance was performed in front of lord shiva the three eyed lord was pleased with the play performed in front of the devas and the devis and the danavas moreover be suggested it to the bharata to include some karnas and angaharas and further hand over it to the tandu so the dance named tandava was born the tandava was developed by the combination of karnas angaharas and pindibandhas karnas is basically the simultaneous movement of hands and feet while dancing the angaharas is a combination of matrukas where two or more karnas form matruka there are 108 types of karnas example nikutta tala pushpa puta vartita apavidha and etc the movements of feet allotted to the exercise of sthanas and charis must be considered so to the karnas too so in case of fighting indulging dancing scenes karnas are used the sthanas charis and nritya hastas are called matrukas these matrukas are combined to form angaharas generally 2 3 or 4 matrukas making up one angahara that means one one angahara consisting of 6 7 8 and 9 karnas the angaharas of 32 types 
some are mentioned here vrishchika bhramara aparajita udghatita etc after involving after evolving rechakas angaharas and pindis lord mahadeva imparted them to sage tandu who perfected the art of dance with vocal as well as instrumental music this art of dance is known as tandava the tandava is mainly categorized into seven types ananda tandava this is cheerful tandava dance sandhya tandava it is the captivating twilting dance that lord performed at the time daylight is facing and world slowly sides into the embrace of darkness kali tandava this is performed by lord shiva and kali vijaya tandava it is done to celebrate victory urdhva tandava uma tandava the lord shiva rests in left foot on the demon and lifts the right foot the code answer here is uma his companion samhara tandava it is the dance of decimation that delivers the good from the evil lasya in indian mythology the dance performed by goddess parvati is known as lasya which is fully filled with happiness grace and beauty in natya shastra the reference of lasya is given in the vinchodhyaya in shlok number 134 it says the lasya has a form similar to that of the bahana and it is to be acted by single person the theme is to be inferred like that of the prakarana and should relate of loving intimacy with anyone there are 12 types of lasya which are mentioned in the shlok number 135 and 136 in vinchodhyaya of natya shastra they are as follows first one is geyapada here the heroine is seated in the midst of the of her musical instruments but the singer go on the singing the song without playing on the instruments the woman sings in praise of her beloved in the sitting posture and with the various gestures of the limbs the second one is sthita patya it is the woman is separated from her lover recites a composition in prakruta while seated on her seat then it is the sita patya the third one is asina the lover sits with the anxiety and sorrow without caring of any makeup or body looking accents this is the example of asina the fourth one is pushpa gandika if a woman dressed like a man recites a simple poem in sanskrit for amusing her female friend then it is pushpa gandika the fifth one is prachedaka where the moon struck woman prepared to hasten to the side of their lovers even if they had committed infidelity deity and done them wrong the lasyanga is known prachedaka the sixth one is trimudhaka a play composed of some vritta neither harsh nor large in number it is called trimudhaka the seventh is saindhavakya when a lover is failed to keep his trust and expresses the feelings in prakruta through well performed karnas then it is saindhavakya the eighth one is dvi mudhaka describing a song of chatushra type 
when auspicious meaning clear bhavas and rasas the ninth one is uttamottaka it is composed to diverse kinds of shloka including many rasas and add on with the bhava of hela that is sportive passion the tenth one is vichitrapad if any woman burning with the fire of love consoles herself by looking at the portrait of lover then it is said as vichitrapad the eleventh is utkata prayuktaka this is the set of music with diverse kinds of ideas implemented it is the combination of speeches arising from anger or eagerness it contains words of censure or rebuke the 12th and the last one is bhavita if a woman in separation dreams about her lover and expresses her feelings and emotional sentiments in dreams it is called as bhavita these are the characteristics of lasya explained in detail nrutta after evolving rechakas angaharas and pindis lord maheshwara imparted them to sage tandu who perfected the art dance with vocal as well as instrumental music this art of dance is known as tandava but there were some doubts by sages rushayah uchuhu yada prapyartham artha naam tad nyaira bhinayah krutah kasman rutam krutam yetyakam स्वभाव मोक्षपेक्षते द मीनिंग इज द आर्ट ऑफ अभिनय हैज बीन इवॉल्व बाय दोज कॉन्वर्सेंट विद द सेम टू मेक द पीपल अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ द प्ले वाई देन डांस वॉज क्रिएटेड ऑन वॉट फीचर डज इट डिपेंड देर इज नो अपरंट को लेशरन विद द म्यूजिक एंड द थीम nor does it reveal or expand the literal meaning then why dance is made an item or in geetas and asaritas the bharata said dance does not depend upon any specific theme it imparts beauty and the splendor people spontaneously love dance further it is praised for its being auspicious moreover it adds to the amusement and pleasure at the time of weddings births of children greeting a bride or groom moments of joy and prosperity the lord had said the tandu let this dance performed in conjunction with the singing of songs in the natya shastra the detailed information of movements using rechakas is given rechaka means moving limbs round separately or drawing up separately there are four types of rechakas mentioned in natya shastra first is pada rechaka which is done by feet second is kati rechaka which is done by waist third is hasta rechaka done by hands and the last one is kantha rechaka which is done by neck movement pada rechaka in pada rechaka the movements are done from side to side with the feet wavering or having unstable different movements kati rechaka this is done by raising up the sanctum and turning the waist or drawing it back hasta rechaka hasta rechaka is done by raising up throwing out placing forward turning round and drawing the hand to the back griva rechaka this is done by raising up lowering and bending the neck sideways and similar other movement on seeing lord lord shiva's dance with rechaka and angaharas the daughter of the mountain parvati too danced with delicate and graceful features 
This amazing dance was followed by the playing of the instruments like Mridangam, Bheri, Pattana, Dindima, Gomukha, Panava and Dar Dardura. After the sacrifice of Daksha, Maheshwara performed the dance at the dusk employing Angaharas in conformity with proper beating of the time and concordance of sounds. Pindi Bandhas Pindi Bandhas Tato Drashta Nandi Bhadru Mukha Ganaha Chakruste Nama Pindi Nam Bandha Masa Salakshanam This means on seeing Pindi Bandhas Nandi Bhadruka Mukha and other Ganas that is attendants gave the names and definitions of that Pindi Bandhas. So now we will see some of the Pindis done by various gods and goddesses. Pindi of Chandika that is called Simva Vahini. Pindi of Vishnu is called Tarkasya Pindi, Pindi of Shakara, Shakra is called Airavati, Pindi of Manmatha is called Jasa that is fish, Pindi of Kumara is Shikhi that is peacock, then Pindi of Janhavi is called Dhara, Pindi of Yama is called Yasha. Pindi of Varuna is called Nadi. Pindi of Bhogins is called Sarpa. Pindi of Ganeshwara is called Dashayadnya Vimarda. These are some of the examples of Pindi that we have seen just now. The Pindis of other gods and goddesses are indicated through these emblems. Anya Shvanu Kramenaya, Pindi Bandhati Yastriya, Tat Pestaka Karyo, Yavat Pindi Nabadhyate, Pindi Vadvo Tatas Sarva Nishkra Meyu Striya Stutaha. The other woman will form the Pindis duly and during that process they will perform the Angaharas. These women shall depart after the formation of the Pindis. While departing, the instrumental music with various Angaharas and Karnas should be played. Tatropa Vahanam Bhuyaha Karya Purvava Devahi Tat Shrava Saritam Bhuyo Gayanam Tu Prayojayet Upohana and Asarita are performed the female dance enters female dancers enter on the stage she should portray the theme through dance items after concluding asarita this dance too departs and another nati enters on the stage for a similar performance there are four types of pindi bandha the pindi bandhas are of four sorts Pindas, Shrinkhalika, Latabandha, and Bhedyaka. The name Pindi Bandha was given because it resembles a lump. The first one is Pindi. It is a basic type of Pindi Bandha, that is why it is called as a Pindi. The second one is Shrinkhalika. Shrunkhalika is holding together like a cluster. When Nartaki perform in group by holding each other's hands like a chain, it is known as Shrunkhalika. The third one is Yatabandha. Yatabandha is holding together like a cluster or creepers. Yata means creeper. When Nartaki perform in group by holding each other's arms, like creeper is known as Yatabandha. The fourth one is Bhedyaka. 
Bhedyaka is the separate dance by single person when nartaki is performed in group but in separated and distinct away then it is called as bhedyaka the application of pindibandha is in shortest of asaritas shrinkhala at the transition of le the lata bandha in the course of middle one and bhedyaka during asarita of longest duration these are some types of pindis we have seen